Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hero 360 Fountain Pen. I received this pen about a couple weeks ago and I'm very impressed by it already. The Hero 360 Fountain Pen is quite different. It actually has double feeds, it's a two doubled feed pen. So it has uh, two feeds sandwiched, sandwiching a steel nib, which is very interesting. I'll go over the parts of the pen and then I'll do a writing sample. I ordered the blue version of this pen, and as you can see here, it's this sort of light ocean blue. It looks very nice. The pen is very light. It's thin as well. It's very slim, should I say. Here's the clip of the pen. You can see Hero here, and you can see Hero lettering as well right here. Hero 360 can be seen. Let me stick that in the light for you guys. Hero 360. Now I'm going to take the cap off and I'm going to show you guys the nib. As you can see here, the nib is very different. It has a sort of, it reminds, reminds me of a ballpoint pen a little bit. As you can see, you can see these two double feeds, this double feed system here. I haven't posted the pen, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit. You can see it sort of goes down into that reservoir here, and the nib goes up to a point, as you can see. The end of the nib is sort of a ball. It has that ball. I think it might be actually two nibs sandwiched together, if not just two feeds. This pen cost me around three to four bucks on eBay. It was actually pretty cheap. It's a quite odd type of nib design, and I like that a lot. I will now put the pen back together and show you everything else. I tried posting the pen, but I wasn't able to. Now I'm going to take the pen apart and show you the ink converter. As you can see here, it has a bladder filling ink converter. It holds a decent amount of ink. It's quite a lot of ink, actually. You can see these Chinese characters here. Presumably it's Hero or Hero 360. I'm not quite sure. You can see it's sort of tapered down this section here. The bladder is ir irremovable. I can't get it off the pen until it's permanently attached, apparently. This ink bladder works quite well. Now I'm going to put the pen back together and give you guys a writing sample and an overall review. The pen. Hero 360 fountain pen. The ink Pelican Royal Blue. The nib, double-sided feed slash nib. Now I'm going to talk about the smoothness of the pen. The pen actually is a little scratchy, surprisingly. I guess due to this strange nib design, it's not too fine-tuned, but it is interesting to look at. It does write nice, but it's, it's, it is pretty scratchy, should I say. Knowing that, I think I'll rate the scratchiness and smoothness of the pen at about a 6 out of 10. It's not too nice. Smoothness. 6 out of 10. When I first got this pen, I wasn't quite sure what I would expect. It is nicer than I thought it would be, but it's not my favorite type of fountain pen by any means. Let's talk about the reliability of the pen. Though the pen isn't necessarily the smoothest fountain pen, it, and it is pretty, pretty scratchy. I would say that it is somewhat reliable, so I'll rate the reliability at 6 out of 10. Reliability. 6 out of 10. Now I'm going to talk about the durability of the pen. The pen doesn't feel very durable, but it is pretty solid. I noticed that it can scra scratch quite, quite easily, and so that's something that you need to be careful of if you're trying to use this pen. I don't really recommend posting it very often. Knowing that, I'll rate the durability at about a 7 out of 10. Durability. 7 out of 10. 
Let's talk about the cost of the pin. This pin cost me about three to four bucks. For a nice pin like this, it's pretty cool. And so I think I'll rate the cost about low to lightly moderate. Cost, moderate, slash low. Now I'm going to do an overall review and show you guys a writing sample. The pin doesn't write very smooth, so I don't really like that factor very much, but it is a nice starting fountain pin. And so if someone's looking into fountain pins and trying to find a pin that has an unusual type of style of nib, this would be a good pin for you. Based on the fact that it holds quite a bit of ink, and that it's relatively cheap, and it shouldn't really break you as long as you take care of it, I think the Hero 360 would be a pretty good starting fountain pin. Though based on its characteristics, I wouldn't really use it in my personal feelings. I wouldn't use it as a daily writer. But that's just me. So overall, I think this would be, would be a good fountain pen if you're just getting into fountain pens before you move on to something a lot nicer. This is the Hero 360 fountain pen. Thank you.